I have with me Professor Thomas Sattelmeyer from TU Munich. Welcome, Thomas. I'd, I'd like to start by asking you about your views of computational versus experimental research. I think that depends. So if we just look on gas turbine development, R&D, so uh, at the end, a gas turbine is a physical thing. So at the end, when you put a new engine together, it's all experimental. But in order to be able to make progress in uh, innovative, uh, innovative products, so you have take, to take also have the, the, the know-how and all the parts. And there, uh, I would say in industry, there is a very pragmatic approach. So you take what you have. This means that on the system level, there is a lot of um, computation in a way or calculation. And then when you go to the component level, it's going also to experiments. And so I would say that uh, in, the, in the design process of gas turbines, uh, you take whatever you have and you don't have any hierarchy uh, between computation and experiments so that computations are higher ranked than experiments or whatever. Huh? So this is a very normal thing, very pragmatic. You want to make progress most effectively and you take all opportunities you have. So when we now step back and go to academia, so then things become a bit uh, diverse depending on the, on the person you ask. So we see in academia a certain move from people who do, who do experiments as well as modeling to pure computational uh, people. And they will say, okay, we know essentially the equations and so we can compute a lot and we may not need, not, may not need experiments anymore. Uh, and at the end, this is certainly, certainly uh, true that we are uh, working on a kind of a digital mock-up of everything. But uh, my own opinion is that experiments will be very, uh, are, very exp uh, are very important and computations are also uh, very important and they belong together in a way. So everything profits from, from the other side. That's essentially my own credo having own experimental activities in also in labs. So uh, in academia computations are very often important on uh, uh, in defining the experiment. Uh, just uh, find a good configuration to, to, to go for what you are looking for. And uh, my personal belief is that uh, we have a very uh, many phenomena, in, in particular in my field, in combustion, which, which we do not really understand yet. And before we haven't understood what we want to model, we have high, uh, large difficulties in, in, in modeling things we don't know. Of course, in combustion, which, which is your field, experiments are very difficult as well because of the high temperatures and indeed the high pressures involved. So how can computational work inform the experimental work and, and vice versa? Well, I would say in a, in a, in a, in a group like, like my group, so we use very often computations in the beginning to improve our experimental approach. So then we try to understand the physics, then develop the models again, which are then a part of the computations and create then uh, on the computational side uh, the progress. And, and, the, and, uh, and continuously we try to shift uh, the, the capability of computation. And that means that computation will, the capabilities of computations will increase and the experiments are at the forefront to get to feed in all this physical knowledge and the models required for that. Do you think there'll ever come a time when we no longer need to do experiments in combustion? Uh, this depends on whom you ask. You ask me, uh, but I do experiments as well as modeling. Uh, but uh, so younger younger people who get a point, get professors who, uh, who only have a, a, a computational group will say we can compute everything because we know the Navier-Stokes equations. And I'm not, I'm not f very fond of that because I think that in such a very complex product like, uh, like gas turbines, there are so many unknowns and so many effects that cannot be, cannot be computed in a, in a narrower sense. And uh, the people who work in combustion know that the level of quantitative solid computations is, is fairly low. 
and a lot relies on experience also and also on experiments. Thank you.